Welcome to the Storyteller Channel. In this chapter, we delve into the heart of the Winter Festival, a moment where time seems to stand still. The air is filled with unspoken fears and the weight of collective memories. The town square is alive with the presence of the townsfolk, their breaths visible in the frigid air, swirling like ghosts around the haunting ice sculptures. These sculptures loom tall and foreboding, each one a frozen testament to the fears that grip the hearts of the people. Under the pale winter sun, these sculptures reflect the myriad emotions coursing through the crowd. Join us as we explore this pivotal moment in the story, where courage and unity will be tested against the chilling grip of fear. Lena stands at the center of the town square, her heart pounding like a drum echoing through the icy expanse. Her long, dark hair whips around her face, framing her pale features as she feels the familiar tug of empathy pulling her deeper into the heart of their collective pain. Beside her stands Theo, his warm hazel eyes filled with determination, a silent promise of support. Together, they face the sculptor, whose tall, gaunt figure casts a long shadow over the gathering. The sculptor's sharp features mirror the ice he manipulates, his cold hands gripping the tools of his trade with a possessive intensity. The tension in the air is thick and suffocating, as the sculptor's madness flickers in his eyes, a glint of desperation that speaks of his fear of losing control. Lena, emboldened by her journey, steps forward, her voice steady and clear, challenging the sculptor's hold over the townsfolk. The townsfolk shift, uncertainty etched on their faces, but Lena feels the stirrings of courage within them. She reaches out, her empathic abilities igniting like a flame, connecting with each person in the crowd. She can feel their fears, their regrets, and their longings, a tapestry of emotions woven together in a shared history. With each heartbeat, Lena draws strength from their collective pain, transforming it into a beacon of hope. She urges them to look at the sculptures, not just as symbols of their fears, but as reminders of their strength. Each crack in the ice tells a story of survival, of resilience. The townsfolk begin to step forward, their eyes reflecting a newfound determination. The sculptor's grip on the ice sculpture's falters, his control slipping as Lena's words resonate within the hearts of the people. The atmosphere shifts, charged with a palpable energy, as the townsfolk unite, their breaths mingling in the cold air, forming a chorus of shared resolve. With a collective cry, the townsfolk surge forward, hands reaching out to touch the ice sculptures, their warmth igniting the cold surfaces. The ice begins to crack, splintering under the weight of their shared courage, each fracture a testament to their willingness to confront their fears. Lena closes her eyes, feeling the energy of the crowd envelop her, a wave of healing washing over them all. As the last remnants of the sculptor's control shatter, the sculptures transform, no longer symbols of pain but of hope and resilience. Lena opens her eyes to see the townsfolk standing together, their faces illuminated by the light of newfound freedom. In that moment, the Winter Festival becomes a celebration of healing, a testament to the power of community and the strength that lies within each heart. Lena smiles, knowing that she has forged a new path for herself and her town, one where fear no longer holds sway and the ice has finally begun to melt.